Um, there was a speech here. I can think of actually two. Um, <clears throat> one was to a group of real estate developers uh, here in the Tacoma market. Um, and it, I was kind of going into a bit of a hostile environment mm -hmm. uh, because the economy was beginning to turn down, housing was beginning to get weak, uh, real estate prices were declining, mm -hmm. and, and this audience made a living building things and selling them. Mm -hmm. And I had to go in there and what they wanted was my opinion in terms of you know, what did I think was going to happen in our local market because things had already begun declining in California and Florida and, and Las Vegas. Um, but I prepared well. Mm -hmm. And in this case, um, I used some humor and I had some slides um, of pictures of homes in Florida and pictures of homes in Vegas and, and, and pictures of things in, in, in um, California. And I would put these things up and, and it, it added a little bit of humor to it because in, in Florida they were giving away free pools. In, in Vegas, they were giving away free garages, and in California, it was so bad, they were giving away a free garage and a car in it. So I had a picture of a pool with a house, and anyways, all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And when I got done, I, the thing I think that made me feel as though I had done a good job was a lot of people came up and said, wow, you know, I think I'm finally getting it. Mm -hmm. uh, the light is going off in, in my head that, um, the Pacific Northwest is not going to be bulletproof from the Great Recession. So I felt pretty good about that one, and I gave a similar speech uh, to a group of bankers uh, on almost the same topic. So in, in each case, I was using a lot of the same information, so I was extremely well prepared, and I think that was one of the reasons why, uh, when I look back, those were two examples of where I had in both cases, an audience of people who liked building things and selling them, yeah. and, a, and an audience that liked giving those guys loans to do that. And in each case, I was telling them things like, it's going to get worse here, and you're going to have a lot of problem loans. Mm -hmm. um, so I was having to tell them things because they wanted my opinion that I knew they wouldn't like. 